Hello and welcome to the next part of our how to videos. I am Joanna and today I will show you the different types of connections you have in eDesign. So basically we have two types of connection. We have a cloud based connection and we have a PLC based connection. The cloud based connection um, you can use for websites. With the PLC based connection you have two types of protocols. For example our eWeb which is best suited if you want to use our LRS PLC or UPC UA, which is best if you have uh, different PLCs from different manufacturers. For example, from Vago, Siemens or Beckhoff or of course LRS. How that works, I will show you now. First, we go to the editor area. So let's take a look at our connection types. First, we want to create a PLC based connection. You can choose any name. I call it Siemens, because I want to connect a Siemens PLC via OPC UA with eDesign. Enter your IP address. As already mentioned, we want to create a PLC based connection, so select SPS. You can choose any port you want, I take port 81. As already mentioned, we want OPC UA as protocol type. Now enter your OPC UA IP port. Reconnect should actually be better on, in case the connection should ever break down, but in this case I will leave it out. Last, choose a codice's name and password and hit the save button. Let's see if the connection is working. We create a new page to test that. Create any container and enter the edit mode. Insert a gauge and place it. You can also choose the thickness and the color of the gauge here. You will see it in the front end. So that it addresses the PLC from Siemens, we can select here our connection, which we have just created, and select the variable path. Then we add a control element to be able to control the PLC and the gauge. Again, select the same connection and the connection path. Hit the save button and select this page as your default page by selecting the star. Let's see if it worked and as you see the gauge is moving. Let's zoom out to see the whole thing. As you see not only the gauge but also the PLC is reacting. If you want to create a cloud based connection it just works the same way. If you have questions, write me in the comments below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!